Hi, today I have a very easy problem for you. This is uh, beginning level of the genetics. And here is a problem. If two people who are both heterozygous for Huntington's disease and autosomal uh, dominant trait marry, what is the probability that they will have three children, all of which are normal? And if you know how to solve this problem, you may stop video here, try to solve this problem on your own. And when you would be ready, you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So, as you see, we have two people who is both uh, heterozygous. So, let's use, uh, for example, uh, capital A for the dominant allele and small a for the recessive allele. And now we can build a Punnett square and we can find the frequencies and genotypes of the progeny and as you see here we're going to get capital A capital A capital A small a here capital A small a here and small a small a here and because this is uh, this uh, disease is uh, dominant so all this three uh, genotypes would mean that uh, this uh, would be chances for the child to be affected with this genetic disorder. So three out of four chances. And one out of four chances uh, would be when uh, a child would be normal. So one out of four. And now we can easily solve this problem and we ask here what is the probability that uh, they will have three children, all of which are normal. So uh, we have one quarter chances for the child to be normal and we have uh, three uh, children in a row. So what is the chances for the first child to be normal? And this is one quarter. And we are not asked uh, if it is boy or girl because this is not uh, sex specific uh, disorder. So just uh, chances would be uh, equal for any gender. So just one quarter. And what is the chances for the next child also to be normal? Once again, the chances would be one quarter. And what is the chances for the third child to be normal? Once again, one quarter and because this uh, independent events we have to multiply them and here we are going to get 4 multiplied by 4 uh, 16 and multiplied by 4 uh, 64 so we are going to get 1 divided by 64 and if we divide this number we are going to get 0 0.0 16 and this is would be rounded uh, number so uh, our answer would be d and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video goodbye